what is going on guys welcome back to the channel today we are going to be covering all of my interior modifications every modification that i've done on the inside of my vehicle we're going to cover because a lot of you guys may be new to the channel and you don't know about a lot of the cool interior modifications that i've done and you may want to purchase some of them so every modification i cover there will be a link in the description so make sure you check that out but now if you're new here make sure you subscribe to the channel give the video a thumbs up and stay tuned for the next video but now let's get into all my interior modifications so starting with the most recent is the seat covers now the main reason i got these was to protect the seats from like sweat after i'm done playing basketball dirt and that way i don't gotta clean them as frequently so now i had on old seat covers and these ones it really comes down here down in the front it comes down and on the other side as well and then it locks it got little little latches under there that locks it and prevents this from sliding all around this is a two-piece you got the, the bottom portion and the back portion it also came with uh, a hit rest portion but i just left that off it loops around here and in the back i'll show you in the back it latches on with those little tabs there you slide through the seats and hook them there and it prevents it from moving all around it's a nice modification we got this for the passenger side as well nice modification protect your seats and under these covers my seats look brand new because i had a other pair a cheaper quality pair before i got these ones this is a two-piece the old pair i had just covered the bottom but this covers the bottom and the back portion and, and it comes with a hit rest as well which i didn't put on but it's a really nice modification to preserve your seats and you don't have to clean it as often real recommended modification link will be in the description so another modification that i've done is which isn't installed now but we had the 4k mirror dash cam it was installed about a year and a half and the thing failed due to overheating i'll leave a link in the description of the video if you'd like to purchase that but it was a great unit the camera quality the picture quality was superb 4k was in the front and 2k was in the rear camera and it just mounted right here to your existing rear view mirror so it was real inconspicuous but the quality was amazing i'm i'm really mad that it it fell prematurely because it was a great great dash cam the hardest thing about that is the insulation if you're not familiar and and comfortable with wiring you know it's, it's recommended to just take it to a shop and get it installed but it was an excellent dash cam i wish it didn't fail because it was an excellent one again i'll roll a little clip here for you now to just to see the picture quality and see what it was like but also there will be a link in the description this is our front cam as you can see it's in 4k resolution crystal clear swipe left that's our rear cam and we have that mounted inside the vehicle swipe again it shows both cameras front camera and the rear cam so another modification what we, that we did was the windshield tint, 5% all the way across. Now, if you didn't know, it is illegal to tint your window below this little mark here. You probably can't see that, but um, there's a little line there and you can't tint it below that little line on, on both sides. I got mine up about an inch before the line, the legal limit, uh, you know, just just in, just to be on the safe side. So we did the interior 5% tent. It really makes a big difference because you don't have to be doing this with your visor a lot because the, the tent strip is there. Really makes a big difference. And on the outside, on the outside, it definitely makes a difference as well. You probably can't see it, but makes a huge difference, that small modification. Okay, another modification for the interior was the charging cup holder cell phone holder and it plugs right into your usb here and this is a fast charge got the little button here automatic goes in and out now this i got a whole video on this it, by the way i'll leave a link in the description but when you get in your car 
and start it up, it automatically opens up for you. So you can just put your phone right in there. And then when you shut your car off, it opens up for you so you can pull your phone out. It automatically detects that 15 watt fast charge. The cable is nice and lengthy just in case you're, you don't have a USB port there or it's mounted somewhere far away. It's probably about a three foot long cord. So it's nice and lengthy. Really works. The charger works fine. I've had this for a few months now. No issues. Um, this is the best one I've had yet. Only change I hope they would look into was making one that you can mount right up here. You know, like the last one I had, it was mounted up here, but it didn't have these features like this here. It didn't have the charging feature. It didn't have this automatic feature, but it would just be nice to have one that sit up here out of the out of the way of everything, but have all the features that this have. Highly recommended modification right here, guys. Link will be in the description. So another modification is the Uconnect Guardian. Now that is integrated into your OEM mirror right here. And you have to install it through an app and activate it. Now you do have to pay this a monthly script subscription, but I qualified for it for free. My vehicle, the first owner of the vehicle, they never took advantage of the opportunity to have this installed. They qualified for it for free. So when I bought this vehicle, I was the second owner. I still qualified for a free year subscription. So right now they gave this to me for free. I think there's probably about a few months left on it. Now what the Uconnect Guardian does is it automatically tracks your vehicle at all times, wherever it's at. So if your vehicle stolen, you'll be able to track it down through the Uconnect Guardian app. Um, I got a video on that as well. Link will be in the description. If you hit this little assist button, and you have a breakdown on the side of the road, or if you have a flat tire, hit that assist button. They'll get in contact with you and you can explain to them the nature of your problem and they'll send out assistance for you. Also, it has an SOS button. Um, let's say you have an, a medical emergency. Uh, you know, you're start having heart pain and you're, you feel you're about to pass out. Hit the SOS button and somehow they should be able to send out emergency service to you and pinpoint their, your exact location. Um, now, I'm not 100% sure how that works, but that's probably like a generalization of how it does work, the SOS button. But it's a nice feature to have. It really monitors all the the diagnostics of your vehicle. If you have a, you know, low tire pressure, your oil is low, your transmission temperature is high, all of that, you got all the details on your Uconnect Guardian app. It shows you in detail, all the problems that are going on with your vehicle. It's, it's a nice, it's a nice feature to have. Link of that video will be in the description. Another interior modification that we done, we did the inserts, the Dodge inserts. It's like a three piece, four, yeah, one, two under that, three and four. Now I've had these for well over two years now and they're holding up fine really gives a little a little bit of flavor to your vehicle. You can get these in different colors, blue, gray, red, orange. I just went with the white. Link will be in the description if you'd like to purchase these. It's a really cool little modification for your interior. All right, so another interior modification is the paddle shifters. These are just an adhesive install. I'll leave a link of this video in the description as well. It really just extends your paddle shifters. And I think they're really nice and handy because without them, you can see how small it is behind the wheel. And these don't get in the way, contrary to what a lot of people say. They're not really in the way. I've never bumped these by accident because of the way I guess hold the steering wheel. I'm usually, you know, my hand is up here or if I got two hands, I'm, I'm at like probably 10 and two. So, you know, they don't get in the way. They're, they're really good. Good to have, in my opinion. You can also get these in different colors. You can get them in gunmetal black, um, silver, um, and I think, yeah, I think that's it. I think those are the only colors, black or silver. But good modification. Link will be in the description. Another interior modification. We got the 20% window tint all around. 
Um, I put these on myself as well. You can get on self-cut window tents on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description of the kit that I got for these. You can get ceramic or you can get the basic tent. I got these as ceramic. The ceramic really blocks out a lot more heat, the ultraviolet rays, and keeps your the inside of your vehicle a lot cooler. Another interior modification is we got the LED interior lighting, as you can see there, all the way from the front to the back. These are from Headlight Revolution, nice and bright. And they came with bulbs everywhere, up at the top, down there under the footwells, front and driver's and passenger side. You got the second row lighting, the third row, and even the hatch lighting way in the back. It came with lights everywhere in the kit. Now the kits are not cheap. I think they're close to 200 bucks for the entire kit. But I mean, the lights are nice and bright. You won't have any problems finding something that you dropped in the vehicle at night, even if you got really, really dark tint. Link will be in the description of the video where you can purchase these as well. All right, so another modification, we got the armrest cover with a Durango logo on it. This is the carbon fiber look, leather. Really good modification. I got this on Amazon. I think it was right around 20, 25 bucks. Link will be in the description as well. Nice modification to have. Next modification. We did the neutral release cover plate. Made it myself. Now I didn't get around to making them to where I can sell them because these things are just too difficult to make by hand, but there is someone that sell these. They have them custom made for your vehicle. Um, you can check out this video. If you Google it, you'll find it. It's on YouTube as well. But this is mine. I did this myself all by hand. And the neutral protection cover prevents a would-be thief from putting your vehicle in neutral. Because if you go in here and you just pull up on the little string here, your vehicle is in neutral. And now they would just be able to drive right off with your vehicle just by pulling that neutral release switch. That's crazy, isn't it? So in order to prevent that from a would-be thief, you have to put a neutral release protection plate on your vehicle. And so, I mean, it's not going to prevent a would-be thief from stealing your vehicle, but it'll slow them down. And that's the thing. So the link to the video will be in the description for this as well. Something to have. Look into that, guys. YouTube it, Google it. It's something you want on your vehicle just for an extra layer of protection. So another modification is we got these cool carbon fiber inserts. Now you can get these as a, as a complete kit. This is not the real carbon fiber. This is just um, a carbon fiber look. I got these off of eBay. I couldn't find them on Amazon. They may have them on Amazon now, but when I bought them, they didn't have them on Amazon. And these are just, they just have an adhesive on the back of them. Link to this video as well will be in the description. And I, again, I had to purchase all these separately. The steering wheel inserts, the dash inserts down here, the console. This is a one piece. All of these you had to purchase separately. Came with these ones around the vents as well. All the vents. We got the ones for the doors, the door handles. Look at that. Really, really nice look. Some of them look more a, a deeper gloss and a deeper finish than others. Like that one there, look how deep the carbon fiber looks compared to that. So you'll get different ones. And again, if you get the real carbon fiber, you're going to pay significantly more. But based on all the reviews of the real carbon fiber ones, the fitment, it doesn't fit properly. So, you know, just beware of that. If you do buy the real carbon fiber pieces, you know, make sure you check the reviews because a lot of guys are saying that it doesn't line up properly. It doesn't cover the whole piece or whatever. So, and that's one of the main reasons I went with uh, the faux fi carbon fiber look. You know, the fitment is perfect on these. It's just not real carbon fiber, but it, it, it I mean, it looks 
it looks good. It looks like carbon fiber. We got these on the driver's side as well. Got them on the rear as well. Got that little strip there. This is the rear driver's side door. Came with the rear passenger as well. Also, it came with this little carbon fiber cover here around the shift knob. So, really nice modification. So, another modification we did was the pedal covers, as you can see there. Link will be in the description to the video of this here. We got the pedal covers there. Really nice protection, especially for the winter time. If you have real slippery pedals from the snow and the rain and slush. These babies here got grip pads on them. As you can see, it got the grip pads on them. Prevent your feet from slipping on them. And it also gives it a nice little look as well. So we did that. Another modification we did, which isn't installed now, was we had the 12 inch PX6 radio. I ended up taking that out and selling, reselling it because it was having a lot of different issues, small nagging problems. My backup camera stopped working. A lot of different little features of this that's supposed to work but didn't work, such as your your Uconnect updates, your software updates, your firmware updates. There was no way that I was able to update the firmware in order to have different features of my vehicle working. So that was one of the main reasons I uninstalled the 12 inch PX6 radio and resold it. So, but it is a great unit, particularly how it enhances your sound and all your EQ settings, adjustability. It's a great unit. I'll roll a little video clip here. One of my favorite features. Now, if you have an aftermarket system installed in this in your vehicle, you can really, really customize it to your full, to the full capability. This is my favorite part, the 16 segment EQ. You can really tweak the sound to your liking, your highs, your mids, your lows. I, un I uninstalled it and resold it. It is a great unit though, but it has its downsides. Another interior modification we did was we install a kill switch. Now, if you don't know what a kill switch is, it's just a switch to where, let's say you're, you're going out of town and you're unaware of maybe there's car thieves around, a lot of auto thefts in that area. You hit your kill switch and it'll prevent a would-be thief from turning on the vehicle and stealing your ride. Now, on this particular vehicle, I had to go inside here near the steering wheel, go inside here, cut the ignition cable and install the kill switch that way. But you can install the switch itself anywhere in the vehicle in the rear, wherever, under your seat, up in the ceiling, anywhere in the vehicle, you wanna hide it though, and install your kill switch. I'll roll a little clip here of me installing the kill switch, and there will be a link of the video in the description as well. So this is the wire. This is the wire that you want. And this is the connector. You need to push in the tab and pull down this is the connector that's connected to the ignition. Put start ignition. Now, first we're gonna find the ignition wire. Now, I believe it's this red wire, but I'm gonna go ahead and test and make sure. All right, so I've identified that this red wire is the ignition wire, 12 volt. Okay, another interior modification. We got the WeatherTech floor mats. We got these in the front row, the second row, as well as the third row. Now, these things are highly recommended, especially if you have harsh winters. Ultimate protection right here. Very durable. They never ripped or tore on me or cut anything. They're very easy to clean. Highly, highly recommended. We also have them on the second row. Really nice contour to your vehicle. Goes right over the little hump there. This is the second row. And then we have them in the third row as well. That's my portable air pump. Now, the WeatherTech, there won't be a link to these, but you can go to weathertech.com and purchase you a set of your vehicle-specific floor mats. So now, another interior modification is we remove the third row seats. So we just have the second row and obviously the first row. 
but we removed the third row because it was a no brainer for me because I mean, it just blasts open the cargo area for your ride. That's one. And then it makes your vehicle lighter, which translate to better gas mileage. Uh, you have a quicker vehicle, you know, and when you fold down that second row, I mean, there is a massive amount of space back here. Now, shaving off the third row, it's going to shave off at least 250 pounds. I mean, that's a massive amount of weight, you know, again, which translate to better gas mileage, better performance of your vehicle, and then way more cargo space to work with here. All right, guys. So that's going to wrap up all of my interior modifications give the video a thumbs up, check out those other videos, the links, because you may be interested in purchasing one of these modifications or doing one of these modifications. Make sure you stay tuned. We got more great content on the way. I will see you guys in the next video. Alex Zorti Life signing off.